Did you know that you could save pages that you want to read in Safari on the Mac without saving them as a bookmark? You don't have to bookmark that page. What we can do is we can add it to a reading list. And then when we add it to the reading list, what we're able to do is read that at a later date. We can even read it offline. It'll save that offline. And when you're done reading it, it'll just remove it. So it's not a permanent bookmark. Let's take a look at reading lists in Safari on the Mac. Let's go to my Mac. Now the first thing I want to mention is, even though I'm using Mac OS Ventura, this is not a Mac OS Ventura specific feature. You do have to be using Safari for this to work. This is a Safari feature, but if you're using an older version of Mac OS, you can still use the reading list. All right, now let's take a look at why we may want to use a reading list, how it can help us when we're reading articles on the internet. So I'm going to open up Safari. I am looking at Macworld. Let's go ahead and go to Macworld here. And what I would like to do is read several of these articles. Now, there are a number of ways to do that. I can just click on them to open them up. I can command click on them. And then when I command click on it, it'll open up in a separate tab. But the problem with all these different ways of doing that is it's easy to lose track of what articles you've saved. Also, if you want to read a lot of articles or mark a lot of articles that you want to read later, it can get pretty cumbersome. You could have a lot of tabs open. Well, really, the best way of doing this is to bookmark them. All you want to do is just click on it, and then you add it to a bookmark. But the problem with bookmarks is they are there permanently. You only want to read an article and then get rid of it. You don't want to have it cluttering up your bookmarks. So bookmarks are not really a good solution either. It does solve a little bit of the problem, but all of a sudden you're going to end up with you know, hundreds or even thousands of bookmarks. Well, what Apple has in Safari is a reading list. This is kind of a modified version of bookmarks. Basically, what you're going to do is add an article to your reading list, and then you can access that later, much like bookmarks. But once you've read that article, it will be removed from that reading list. So then you don't have to worry about reading it again. So it's all automatic. Also, what you're able to do is save these articles offline. So even if your Mac is not on the internet, you're going to be able to read any articles that are in your reading list. So it's like self-managed bookmarks. So how do we use this? Well, first thing that we need to do is we need to add articles to our reading list. And there are a few different ways to do that. One way is through the contextual menu. So if I hold down the control key where we have our contextual menu, you're going to see when I click on an article, what I'm able to do is add the link to a reading list or to the reading list. So now I just select this and it added it to my reading list. I'll show you where we find that reading list later. Let's go and add a few more articles. So we're going to go with this article here. Control click on it. I get my contextual menu and then we go over to add to reading list. I can also open up the article. Let's go ahead and click on this article here. And if I want to add it to my reading list, I go up to the address bar here, and when I move my cursor up towards the top, you're going to see we have this little plus. It only shows when my cursor is up in that address bar. This plus will add it to the reading list. And then another way is through share. I click on the share icon, and I can add it to my reading list. So that's how we add articles to the reading list. Now, how do we access this reading list? Maybe what I'd like to do is read these articles later. And now it's later, so I want to read them. Where do I access these articles that I've added? Well, what we need to do is go over to our sidebar here. When I click on this icon, it opens up Safari sidebar. And then down at the bottom, you're going to see reading list. I click on this and I can see all of the articles that I've added. So here are the three articles that I've added to this reading list. All I have to do is just click on them to read them. So let's go ahead and click on it. It's opening up that article, and now I can read it. I want to go to the next one. I just click on it, and it'll go to the next one. An easier way of going through these articles is to just scroll. So I'm on the first article here. I'm reading it. Let's go ahead and get down towards the bottom here. Once I get down towards the bottom, you're going to see that the next article is here. All I have to do is just scroll up, and it's going to go to the next article. 
So all we have to do is just scroll. And when we get to the bottom, I keep scrolling. And now I'm reading the next article. So I don't actually have to click on them. Now I mentioned that what it will do is it'll remove them from the reading list once I've read it. Well, they aren't being removed. Well, that's just because this is cached in here. If I quit out of Safari, or if you come back to it later, they will be removed. Let's go ahead and quit out of Safari here. So I quit, and now I open it back up, and you're going to see that the reading list is empty. That's because I've read those articles. Now, if you want to reread them, it doesn't actually remove them permanently. You can see all of the articles that you've added to your reading list. To do that, what you need to do is just swipe down from the top here. So I just swipe down, and you're going to see unread. This is where I can see all of my unread articles. I've read all my articles, so there's nothing here. And then we have all. I click on all, and now I can see those three articles, as well as any other article that I've read in the past. And we can also search. So you can search for different articles as well that you've read. If you want to move it back to the unread section, all we have to do is just swipe over to the right. So I just swipe over to the right, and it's going to say Mark is unread. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do that with this one here. And let's go with this article here. So now they're back in my unread. Click on it, and there they are again. Now, let's say you wanted to remove an article from this list here altogether. You don't even want it to be in the all list. How can we remove this from the reading list altogether? Well, all we need to do is just swipe to the left, and you're going to see Remove. When I click on Remove, it'll remove it from the reading list. Let's go ahead and do that for the Wikipedia article here. So I just swipe, click on Remove, and now it is no longer in my reading list. So we can also remove them from the reading list. Now, I mentioned that we could save them for offline reading. Let's go back over to Macworld here, and we're going to add a couple more articles here. I'm going to close my sidebar here, and we're going to go with this article here. I control click. I add it to my reading list. Let's go with one more. We're going to go with this one here, and I add it to my reading list. So now I've just added those two to my reading list. I want to make sure that I can read those offline. To do that, we need to open up our reading list again. And then from here, what we do is go over to unread. This is where my unread articles are. You're going to see that those two new articles that I've added are in there. And now what I need to do is just control click on it. And you're going to see save offline. When I select this, what it's going to do is allow me to save this offline. So now it's saving it for offline reading. It's downloading the article, and then I can view it later. Let's go ahead and do that with this article here. Click on it, save offline. Now that's kind of nice, but what I would like to do is have it save all of my articles online. You can have it do that as well, and that's what I would recommend. You don't want to go in here and click on each individual article. Just save all of the articles for offline reading. To do that, what we need to do is go to Safari's settings. Now, I am using macOS Ventura, so I just go up under Safari here, and then we go over to settings. If you're using an older version of macOS, this is going to be Safari preferences. So I select it. And then we go over to our Advanced tab, and we want to make sure that we have Save Articles for Offline Reading automatically checked. So I just select this, and now what it's going to do is Save Articles for Offline Reading automatically. It's going to do this automatically. I don't have to go over here and get to my contextual menu, control click on it, and save them for offline reading. Safari will do that for me automatically. So if you do not see Save article for offline reading. That checkbox may be checked in your Safari settings. I can't recall if it's on by default or if it's off by default. But what I would recommend is you go over to Safari and go over to its settings of preferences, advance, and make sure that that is checked. Then any article that you save will be saved for offline reading. And then the last thing I want to mention is if you use an iCloud, this reading list syncs with all of your other devices. So you could add articles from your Mac over to your reading list on your Mac. Go over to your iPad, and as long as you're signed in with the same iCloud account, you can go to the reading list in Safari and find those exact same articles. And then from there, you can read them on your iPad. You can read them on your iPhone. 
The way that I like to use this is, I don't like to read articles on the iPhone so much. It's a little bit small. So what I can do is I can save articles on the iPhone to my reading list, and then they'll show up on my Mac or my iPad under my reading list. So that is how reading lists work and how you can save articles to read later using Safari on the Mac. Again, this is not a Mac OS Ventura feature. This is just a Mac feature. It's available in Safari and it's been available for several Mac OS versions. Just control click on the article, add it to your reading list, and then when you're ready to read, just go over to your reading list and start reading. I would make sure that you go over to Safari's preferences or settings and save articles for offline reading, especially for the Mac, because the Mac is not always online. So that is how we work with reading lists in Safari on the Mac.